Hello to you newcomers and welcome back subscribers. Today I'm going to go over a brief intro to 3D printing, the wonders that it can do for cosplay and costuming, and how you guys can get started. Obviously you guys are going to need a 3D printer for this, so if you're looking for suggestions, I highly recommend the CR10 from Creality. Uh, I have four of these guys printing around nonstop, and I do have some small issues with them every now and then, but overall they're all great machines and they're pretty decently priced. Some things I liked about them is they have a very large build volume. It's like 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters. It's a lot bigger than most standard 3D printers out there. So if you're looking for suggestions, I highly recommend this one. I'll include a link for it in the description. You guys can get by just fine with one 3D printer. I have four because I like things to go fast. So, moving on, you're going to need some filament for your 3D printer. I like to use the Xyltec PLA filament. It's about the best priced filament out there, and the quality is pretty good as well. They have a range of colors, so I'll include a link to their site in the description as well. After you have your printer and filament, you're going to need some files and you're going to need a slicer. Now a slicer is what converts your 3D object into code that the printer can actually read. So for that, I have Simplify 3D. Now this is a premium software, it sells for around $150 but it is highly recommended by the 3D printing community and is a very powerful tool. But there's also a good free option from Ultimaker called Cura. I'll include a link for the download of both in the description. So here's Simplify 3D. You basically load in your object that you want to print and you could add supports for it or whatever you need in order for the printer for the print to work properly. So ask around on some forums or the Facebook group is very helpful if you guys are unsure. Some more software that we're going to need is a software that can slice and manipulate 3D objects because if I like look at the chest here we can see that it is too big to be printed in one piece. And that's going to be how it is for most of the files we'll be printing. So we're going to need a way to slice it up into smaller pieces so that we can load it into our slicer. And for that I recommend Mesh Mixer. It is a free software from Autodesk. Uh, it's okay to use um, the UI can be a little bit confusing at times, but you can't beat the price of free. Uh, so moving on, you're obviously going to want to print a lot of stuff. So here are a few places where I get my files. The first is Thingiverse. This is uh, probably the first site people use when they get into 3D printing. Um, it's got you know tens of thousands of files available and the best part is they're all free. That being said they're not always the highest quality since they are free but there is some great stuff on there. Another place I like to get files is on cgtrader.com or uh, places like Etsy. Some file designers will post their stuff on sites like that. Which brings me into my next point is where I got my files for my specialist armor that you saw at the beginning of the video. I'm going to be using a combination of this armor from Nerdforge Designs. He's a good, uh, he's a great designer. I've worked with him in the past and he loves Star Wars just like us. And he's made a great set of armor. Now the phase one and phase two armor are basically interchangeable except for the helmet of course so I'll also be using his phase two clone trooper helmet. 
Uh, for accessories, I'm going to be using his accessory pack that has things like the pauldron that we'll use, the binoculars here, um, as well as the backpack back here. So we'll be using a combination of these two products to print our armor. Now this last piece of software isn't necessary, but it's highly recommended, and I'm going to include it in my process. It is Armorsmith from the Armored Garage. It's what you saw at the beginning of the video. Basically, it allows you to create a 3D representation of yourself and then build the armor onto it. So here, I'm six foot three, so I created a model to represent myself. It has tons of different, uh, let me see if I can hide the armor. I'll just open a new instance. But it has tons of measure points that you can take on yourself and apply to this model. And it's very helpful for getting a like a rough draft of how big your armor needs to be and if you need to scale it at all. Because we all have different body shapes, but designers can only make it for one body shape at a time. So this is a very helpful tool for getting a rough idea of how big your armor needs to be or if you need to change it in any way. So that's a brief rundown of how I'll be making my armor with 3D printing. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, 3D printing is a great hobby and I highly suggest everybody get into it. It's tons of fun and you can make just about anything with it. Now I'll be going into further detail with each of these programs as I move through them in the tutorials. I just wanted to give you guys a very high level intro to 3D printing since it can be pretty intimidating at first. But like I said, I encourage you guys to try out 3D printing if you haven't already. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.